All right, hello. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to increase your EXP gain. So the first thing you should know are, is that there are two hot springs in Elsor. The first one is in Ruben, and the second one is in Landlox. You can access the Ruben one after you reach level 10, and you can access the Landlox one after you reach level 70. Um, to get to the hot springs, you can use the Kobo transportation service to get there, or you can go to Ruben or Landlox and enter the hot springs. So if you go to either hot springs and you stand in the water, uh, you'll get this timer. And uh, if you stand in the waters for six minutes, you'll get a buff, this buff right here, um, which includes 30% EXP boost. Mm, to reduce the waiting time for the hot springs, you can wear a hot springs costume. You can get one for free every single week from this weekly quest, Relax in the Hot Springs, and it'll give you a hot springs costume, and that will reduce your wait time to around 4 minutes. Um, the costume is temporary, lasts 7 days, but you get this quest every single week. Um, also, you can purchase a hot, permanent hot springs costume from the item mall, and this one reduces to your, your wait time to around 3 minutes. Uh, you don't actually have to purchase it unless that one minute is really hard for you to wait through. So up to level 99, there's something called Relax EXP. Uh, to go to rela Relax EXP, you click your EXP bar to go to Relax EXP. Your Relax EXP bar fills up as you do dungeons or PvP. And uh, if you stand in the hot spring waters, it'll convert the Relax EXP to actual EXP. A whole bar of Relax EXP converts to about 50% uh, normal EXP. You can fill up the Relax EXP bar and convert it once a day. Uh, it resets every single day at 12 a.m. PDT. Also, if you don't convert your Relax EXP bar, that yeah, that gets reset too. So, if you you should um, if you care about it, you should make sure you convert your Relax EXP before the reset. All right, so there are two titles. There are two main titles that increase EXP gain in this game that you should be aware of. Uh, I don't have either of them on my retina, so I'm switching for one second. Alright, so the first one is in, I think it's Ellison, Rules, the Rules of the Jungle. This one is relatively easy to get and you can get it after level 80 and it increases your EXP gain by 10%. And then uh, the next one is a little bit more tedious to get, but it's called Guardian of Secret Close Space. You can get this title by trading 300L rewards to Aerial. And this one increases your EXP gain by 20% along with some other useful effects. Uh, to get all rewards, you can either get them from the daily and weekly, daily and weekly SD quests. I do believe I completed both of them on this character. I know this one's here again, but um, so this is a daily quest. There's also a weekly quest, and you can also get L rewards by tossing barrier fragments at the trees in Ellison. I won't go much in depth in that one. Also, if you have um five L rewards right here. Uh, at least five. You can take it to Ariel, and you can trade uh, trade five L rewards to her for a 24-hour 100% EXP boost medal. So exchange, and it's this medal right here. Another thing you can exchange from Ariel is um, a 15% EXP medal. If you go back, let's see where is it? Right here. If you trade her three evil souls orbs you can trade for a 15 percent exp boost medal that also lasts one day you can get evil souls orbs from defeating uh, field bosses another great way to increase your exp gain is by investing up to 100 erp in exp gain so if you go to your erp if you you can throw up to 100 erp in exp and that'll increase your exp gain permanently well as long as you have the page on by 200%, which is very, very nice. All right, so sometimes when you do dungeons in Elseworlds, you'll get a random mission right here. Um, and if you complete the random mission, let me complete this one real fast. If you complete the random mission, you have a, let's see, I think I completed it here. Yeah, so if you complete the random mission, you'll get an EXP bonus when you create a dungeon. Um, the EXP bonus ranges from 110% to up to 500%. 500% is extremely rare um so yeah if you see a random dungeon not a random dungeon if you see a random mission in a dungeon you should definitely do your best to complete it because you'll get a nice exp at the end. 
if you're in a guild, there are a few ways you may be able to obtain EXP from being in that guild. So there's a guild passive called Comrades Cheer right here. And if your guild has that, you can get up to 15% EXP boost. If your guild has two skill pages, you should check both because one of them might have the passive and the other one might not have the passive. Also, uh, by spending 20 guild coins, anyone with the ability to do so in your guild can purchase this contract from you, Kobo Training Time Contract, and this increases the EXP of all guild members by 50% for one hour. If you purchase multiple of them and use multiple of them, it'll extend the time that the buff lasts. For example, yesterday Zero tossed five of these, so we had 50% EX, EXP boost for five hours. Also, um, you ha once someone uses a contract, you have to visit the guild base to get the buff. So like if someone uses it and you're in a dungeon, you don't automatically just get the EXP buff. You have to visit the guild base to get the buff. So make sure you keep that in mind. Also, people with the uh, ability to do so can also use guild banner points, guild banner points and guild coins to bless the guild banner. And you can get EXP boost from that. Why is this all in the back? Yeah, right here, they get this one. Yeah, um, the whole guild will receive a little bit of EXP boost. So, another way to ensure you get good EXP is by doing dungeons in your level range. Um, if a dungeon is in your level range, you'll say within level range right here. Uh, dungeons that aren't in your level range generally don't give that much EXP. By being the party MVP, you can also get a slight EXP boost as well. Also, promotional costumes give you EXP boost. For example, this one right here gives me 10% EXP boost. So you can get EXP boost from promotional costumes as well. Alright, you can also socket EXP gain. To socket EXP gain, you need shining dual magic stones of growth. And to get those, first go to any alchemist in any village, hit the craft button, and you can craft dual magic stones of growth. And after you craft these, you want to go to upgrade, and you can upgrade them to Shining Duo Magic Stones of Growth. You can buy both of these off the board as well. And the highest percent you can get is 2.5% EXP boost on your 5 out, of 5, 5 out of 5 costume and your armor. And for your weapon and weapon costume, you can get up to 5%, I believe. Uh, you, If you want to make an EXP set, you should get a separate costume set and socket all of that with EXP. And then socket your top, bottom, and shoes with EXP as well. People normally don't socket their gloves because the gloves has an all-skill damage piece. As far as dungeons goes, 12-3 gives pretty good EXP. So if all the members of your party kill over 200 mobs in the first part of the dungeon, you can get up to 80 mil EXP per run with 300% EXP boost. And also 12-8 gives good EXP too. For 12-8, when you get to the boss, you want to lower 3 bars of his health with using actives or commands. And after that, you wait for a bit and he'll go down on one knee. And after he goes down on one knee, you want to freeze him or petrify him. And then nuke him. Um, when he's on one knee, he'll take 10% more damage. So generally, if you freeze him or if you petrify him, you can one-shot him. Which makes that dungeon a lot easier. Another way to get good EXP gain is by keeping up to date with events. Currently, um, this weekend, there's a times 2 EXP event, and also the attendance event that's going on right now gave out an 100% EXP medal. Also, occasionally events will give out Philosopher's Scrolls, which increase your level by 1. They don't work on ERP, though. And then miscellaneous information. EXP medals with the same percentage do not stack. For example, if you got the 100% EXP boost medal from Ariel, if you have two of them, you'll still only get 100% EXP gain, you won't get 200%. And that's it for this video. Bye-bye.